Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Tea. Um, today's topic I pulled is from Allie on Facebook. We're just going to dive right in because I think I have a lot to say about this topic. This, she wanted to know how I deal with people who are whiny, depressed, negative, and boo-hooey all the time. And no matter what you do for them, they are still not listening. Well, I get told I'm not very nice on this topic. I am a giving person. I believe in helping others as much as you possibly can. But if they are going to stay negative and boo-hooey, oh, my poor life, it sucks, nothing goes right. Well, you know what? They need to make a change. If they're not listening, there's so much you can do. But they have to be willing to help themselves. If they're not willing to help themselves, I say after, I don't know, two or three tries, whatever feels comfortable for you. Me, I'm not the three strikes you're out. I'm like, once, if you don't listen, shame on you. Second time, that's it. If you don't listen, I'm done. If you're not willing to help yourself and cut out all the negativity, because life's too fucking short to be negative all the time. Yes, everybody has fucking problems. Everybody's life sucks from time to time. Stuff doesn't go right. But you know what? If you dwell on that, that's all you're going to get is negative, depressive, bullshit. You've got to be the positive change that you want to see. If you're not positive, don't expect to get anything positive back. Um, I had a friend that was... Manic, depressive, bipolar, whatever you want to call it. She was just fucking crazy, but in denial. Everything that came out of her mouth was negative. I tried and tried and tried for years to help pull her out. It finally got to the point I had to cut ties. I don't need that kind of negative shit in my life, especially when the negative people bring your positivity down. You don't need to constantly be putting all of your energy into one person that's draining your positivity and your happiness. Um, some people are nicer than I am. And, you know, by all means, do whatever your heart feels like you need to do. But after two or three times, if they're not listening, don't offer your help anymore. Just, you know, set them down and say, hey, I've tried and tried. You're not listening. You're hearing me, but you're not listening. There's a major difference there. I can hear somebody talk, and it sounds like the teacher on Charlie Brown. But if I listen, I take their words to my heart, and I try to use that advice in my life. I don't know everything, but if somebody's asking my advice, that's probably because I've been through something similar to what they're going through. And if I've been through it, I'll tell you how I reacted. I'm not going to tell you how you need to react because everybody is different. But if you ask for my opinion and advice and I give it and it's good and you acknowledge that, hey, I'm willing to help you again. If you don't you and you come back and you ask again about the same thing, I'm going to say, hey, you didn't listen to me before. What makes me think you're going to listen to me now? Um, negativity spreads like a disease. So the less negativity and, oh, poor pitiful me you have in your life, the happier you will be. It is your personal choice on whether to be happy or not. You can take a bad situation and find the good in it. Find the lesson and work through it and move on. And if these people don't listen, quit helping. That's plain and simple. That's the way, that's my opinion. If they're not going to listen to your advice after coming to you for advice, don't help them anymore. I know that seems harsh, but... That's just my opinion, and that's what y'all are watching for, my opinion. Now, if you like the videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and go over to Facebook and check it out. 
um, the page and you can send me any kind of topic suggestions nothing's off limits um, even if it seems stupid to me I will still do the topic um, I know a lot of people thought that this was going to be all laughs and jokes but I have given up reins of the topic selection to the viewers so whatever I pull is what I read and what I give my opinion on if it's a serious subject so be it if it's a funny subject so be it I love that you viewers have that control which is a big issue for me because I'm kind of a control freak as it is <laughs> but um, until next week be good to each other but be good to you.